wife and your tight, turn your Bibles to the book of Matthew. And we want to start in uh, verse 9, chapter 6. start there. In verse 8 of chapter 6 of the book of Matthew, it says, Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. And this morning, if uh, we have problems in our life, and we all will if we don't today, and are in need, or uh, we're uncertain about things, and that uh, uh, we can't put our finger on things like that uh, we would like to. That's what he's talking about here this morning. And he says here in verse 9, After this manner, therefore pray ye, and this is the prayer, that he, the, the thing that he said for us to do, using our Father, our Father which art in heaven, how it be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Amen. So we see the direction that God, or Jesus was telling the disciples how to pray. And he says, and forgive us, asking for forgiveness of our debts as we forgive our debtors. And this, this morning, is something that does not only cover money in debtors, but it also covers actions, feelings, and things of this nature, we are to forgive. And uh, of course, I know the Bible uh, uh, teaches us that if we sin against someone, we should go to them and ask them. Sometimes I uh, see things happen or hear things happen or something that goes on and the person does not really realize, and I'm sure it happens to each of us, does not realize that he is uh, sinning against you or or hurting you in some way, but he says, and give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And so it's our, our, it's our Christian duty uh, to forgive people. Amen. Because listen, <laughs> we got forgiveness for our sins through Jesus Christ. And we did not have the spirit to ask that. And the Spirit come in after the forgiveness. And so we were out in this world in a lost condition. And Jesus Christ come to this world and he died on the cross and forgave us our sins. Now, I, I know this this morning that we are to come to him in a humble attitude when the Holy Spirit speaks to our hearts and ask for forgiveness. But listen, before we ask, our sins were forgiven. Amen. And, and so this morning, here at Notre Dame, <coughs> and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now, the evils that he's talking about here this morning is having something against someone. I believe this is one of the things. This evil is that I have an evil against someone that has persecuted me or has said something to me, and really they don't realize I, uh, I've under, I, that they hurt my feelings or they did damage to me in some way. Listen, he says here, he says here, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. And so this morning, we as God's people need to take on a, a heart of love towards our enemies, Amen. towards our friends, and towards anybody that we can help, anybody that we, that we uh, see needs some help. We need to take this love towards them in our heart and apply because Hey, that's what Jesus Christ done when he hung on the cross. And that's what he did uh, before even he did that. He agreed with the Father that he would come and do these Amen. things. And so this morning, that was the agreement, and that's what he did, and that's what he asked us to do because he did it for us. And so this morning, we should not have any problem. And I know spiritually, there's not... A, 
much problem as there is fleshly. And I know the flesh has a desire to strike back. The, uh, the, the flesh has a desire to hurt right. as you've been hurt. But the thing of it is, you need to put the flesh in its place Amen. through knowing the love of God in your heart. And so this morning, I wanted to read this to you because, listen, in verse 14, he says here, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Now listen, when, when we have things in our heart that is contrary to what God says, and we have a, 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 a haughty heart, we have a desire in our heart not to be friends with people because they did this or did that and possibly don't know. Listen, then you're in the fault. And the man that hurt you or the woman that hurt you and the thing that they said uh, are, are not as much fault as you are because you know and they didn't. And so here he says here again, for if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But listen to this, if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. And so this morning, I, I, and, and especially this, this, I want to make this clear. If a man comes to you and he finds out that he's hurt your feelings or said something that was uh, offensive to you and he comes and asks you to forgive him, listen, you have no choice. Amen. You have no choice. You have no choice because, listen, it's, it's in the heart of man, fleshly, to hold a grudge and to get back in the way that he knows only to do, and that's to hurt the flesh. But listen, we as God's people need to realize uh, we had to come to the Lord and ask his forgiveness. And he, did, he, he don't turn you away. And so this morning, we should be God-like in that way and have a desire to say, well, uh, yes, I forgive you because that's the correct way to do it. Amen. That's the way that's pleasing to God. And that's the way that you can get your forgiveness from God when you pray to him, Father, forgive me. Uh, of my sins because a lot of times listen this old flesh of mine does things and does it and, and it's a sin it's a sin to do it but the thing of it is a lot of times I don't realize it to the point that I should stop it before it starts but the Holy Spirit comes in and deals with my heart and says hey you know what the Lord says about these things and what they, about this. And so then I have to come to the, the God and say, Father, well, forgive me, because I didn't know. Uh, or forgive me of that sin. So uh, a lot of times maybe um, we sin and willfully, we still got to come back to God and say, forgive me. And Amen. so here it is. So J Jesus, uh, after this, he was he was teaching to them. He After he was teaching forgiveness here, he went to the, to the, part of fasting in verse 16 when he says here moreover when you fast be not as the hypocrites and again here this morning the hypocrites made an open open view of their their self as they would go among the people and as they would oh and oh and carry on like this and they everybody what's wrong and they pour out their heart and say this is this and this is it but jesus here is saying to the people here when you when you fast and that is to do without food or uh, uh, do without uh, other things that that you need to do like you know, witness and things of this nature you need you need to do you need to take some pleasures away from this flesh Amen. and this flesh does not does not enjoy praising the lord right now you can say what you want to you can say what you want to and i, I know that people are different from me about this but i know what my flesh is and listen it is it is it is not its joy to get out here and to uh, go out here and try to hand out booklets. It's not a joy to go over here and say, hey, I want to come talk to you about the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not its pleasure. If I get out there and see something half naked or go over here to a party or something like that, it enjoys that. No problem. But listen, when this body tries to uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy the fellowship of, uh, of other it don't it don't enjoy it and so here he says 
Moreover, when you fast, <coughs> be not as the hypocrites uh, or uh, pretenders is what they were, and of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Amen. Now listen, this, when they say that he, when the word says they have their reward, their reward is not going to be pleasant. I guarantee you, they have their reward. And, uh, and, and these, these, these hypocrites, these, these people that do that, he says here, uh, they have a sad countenance. They want the world to know how sad they are to get the pats on the back of, of people right. and to say, well, it will get better and I'll help you any way I can. Listen, they don't go to the Lord and they don't put a, a, a clean face on with a with a, a washing and, and all of this like that they say that to do, but they go around half dirty and all this stuff and trying to get the attention of people. So he says here, listen to this in verse 17, but thou, when thou fastest, anoint thy head and wash thy face. And listen, that's to the world. Amen. That's the flesh for the world's appearance and to sh not to show any sadness in this body. But listen, if the sadness is there, it's in the heart and you are to pray to God for this thing. So notice here, he says, that thou appear, in verse 18, that, that thou appear not unto men to fast but unto the Father which is in secret. And listen, when we fast, when we fast, we don't need to go around and, and, and let anybody know this, or we don't need to advertise it. Hey, I've been fasting for the last week, and boy, it's just all I can do. Listen, that's not, that's not what God wants you to do. Amen. He wants you to keep it to yourself. He wants you to do it before Him, and He wants you to praise him through this fast and to, and to deny this flesh because this flesh needs to deny it. Amen. It needs to be uh, put someplace in its place and so fasting will get the job done. Mm -hmm. It will cut that It'll cut that, uh, that hunger in that stomach. It'll make that hunger. And listen, it'll get the attention of itself and let you know that it's hurting. But listen, that's why that you do it is to to let the Lord know that you're rejecting the flesh Amen. and you're coming to him and saying, Father, I'm doing this because I love you and because you love me and because that you've blessed me in so many ways and this flesh didn't do its part and so this flesh has got to suffer. And so until time for death, that is one way of making the flesh suffer Amen. and making it get, its, get, get attention to, to where the, it knows that the spirit knows that it's doing what it should do. Because listen, you don't have to fast in the spirit like uh, you do in the flesh because the, the, the spirit, if it's saved, there's no sin there. But listen, there is, there's sin here in this flesh mm -hmm. and it has that, it has that the tendency to, to sin against God. So here he says here uh, that you need to, and, uh, if you do this in verse 18 it says and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly Amen. And so this is something that that the Lord will uh, encourage you with he will reward you with if you will keep this flesh under the subjection by fasting and listen uh, fasting means to stop doing things and stop eating and listen, it also fasting, you can fast in, in the, that you don't let your body uh, be a witness for you. You don't let the, you don't tell nobody about the Lord. You don't sing songs of praise to him. Uh, listen, there's so many things this morning that this body can do, but it don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. It don't have, now listen, if you get, you get the pats on the back of, of people, then he'll get up there and he'll jiggle around and sing and do all these things. But listen. When you're doing it because you love the Lord, the body don't care anything about doing it, people. And that's the situation that we're in this morning is this flesh that we have to contend with. And listen, it just is hard to get along. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only way that you can do it is to keep uh, uh, just...
just fight and against it. And uh, uh, you know, it's it's. I don't know how I've said it once, maybe, but for a while. But uh, the the guy was telling about the two dogs, uh, a white dog and a black dog, and and the and the black dog was always getting the better of the white dog. And to come to find out, the black dog was getting fed, and the white dog wasn't. And he was weak. And so what we need to do is we need to weaken. The black dog to right. feed the white dog Amen. and get him stronger. And here's the food right here that we can we can strengthen this this white one, this the, the spirit, and we could be closer to the Lord. So this this morning is is some of the things that that we have in the fasting. And then he says here in in verse nineteen, starting with that about the treasures in heaven. He says, "Lay up not lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt." And for thieves break through and steal. And listen again, what is that talking to? It's talking to the flesh. The flesh loves these worldly things. Mm -hmm. And it says, lay not up for yourself treasures on earth. And that's what that's what we do in the flesh is we run to the bank and we put a little dab money in there and put a little money in there. And, and the first thing you know, well, hey, I got a whole lot of money. Well, listen. That's not that's not what is so pleasing to God. Mm -hmm. He gives you what you need. Amen. And listen. So he says here, for and and, and, and notice sir, for moth and rust does corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. And so this morning, uh, this little dab of money that we have in this world, listen, it's not ours. It's something that we can use, and and. Uh, uh, there is a danger of someone coming in and your house or taking what you got. It is a danger of some, uh, going somewhere else and stealing what you got. But listen, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven Amen. where moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal. So if you've got a precious blessing this morning from the Lord, uh, it's come from heaven. It didn't come from this world. Amen. Now listen, man cannot take it away from you. Amen. And, and, and hey, he don't, he does not wave his wand and he does not say, hey, spirit, tell the world what I'm doing for them. Listen, he comes in and he does it and he does it with love and he does it with silence. Amen. And listen, it makes your spirit <coughs> happy. And so there's no danger of losing what God has given you, what there is laid up in heaven for you, because listen, you build those treasures here on this earth, and that's why that you gotta keep this old flesh under control, and help it helps the spirit make that deposit in heaven. And listen, one of these days, when it's all over with, you go up there and you open up that treasure, and it's just loaded with, with blessings. And God will say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. <laughs> and, um, and there's no sweeter words. There's, I mean, I can go down to the bank down here, bumps, bills, or door, and, and I walk in there and say, well, hey, you've got a million dollars today. Well, listen, that's fine. But I won't say, well, how can I keep it without anybody getting it? But listen, in heaven, I go up there and well done. And there's no worry there. But all I can do is say, hallelujah, thank the Lord. And so this morning, again, uh, here, notice here, and uh, uh, what he says in ver the latter, uh, in 21, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Right. And so this morning, uh, again, it's just a warning for us not to treasure these things upon this earth. I know there's a necessity for them. I know that we have to pay bills. I know that we have to buy clothes. I know we have to feed children. And listen, but the Lord is able to sustain us. He's able, and, and you say, well, yeah, that's easy for you to say. You got a good job, or you got this, or you got that. Listen, I ain't got no more, or you ain't got no more than God allows for you. Amen. And so he gave it to you, and he, he can keep us happy. So notice here in the, I want, I want to read one other thing before we get too far into the lesson. I've got something on read over here. In verse, in uh, a verse, uh, okay, in, ver, uh, in verse 24, notice trust, trust in one master. 
No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon or man. Amen. And so this morning, when we, when we settle in and, and get to thinking about this, we cannot serve man. Because man, man is against God. And listen, we do not serve man. We do not serve him for anything. We, we have to associate with him. We have to work with him, get along with him, and company with him. But listen, we do not have to serve him. But he says here, you, you cannot serve God and man. Therefore, I say unto you in verse 25, take no thought for your life what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink nor yet for your body what ye shall put on it is it is not the life is not the life more than meat and the body more than raiment. amen and listen this morning when i read this people uh, uh that that don't really i mean a lot of times when they're, they, they, they think, well, listen, that's easy reading when you got something, but it's tough as, it's tough as a barrel of, of nails when you ain't got it. Well, listen, behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not much better than they? I Amen. say that with a big yes, you are more valuable Amen. than anything else in this world. Your soul is what God created for a home in heaven and it has to be it has to be saved but that's the place for it that's what he created for it and he didn't make the fowls that fly around or the mules that run up and down the hill that's not for help. They are here for a while for man's use and that's it. And he says which of you by, in verse 27 which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. Yet, and yet, my, yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Amen. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass, of the field which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven shall he not much more clothe you O ye of little faith and listen i hope you know when 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 times gets in dying in my place for that we uh we haven't got clothes or if this ever happens if the lord uh sees fit to, to try our patience or if there's there's not enough food really to have a good food meal. And listen, people, uh, you say, that's crazy. No, it ain't crazy. Right. Because, listen, it's coming up on the world. <laughs> Amen. And in, in six months from now, this thing that they got with this virus and all this shit, it's all cold, shut up, in a, and no food in our house, no clothes that, 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 we can, that we can buy in you or nothing like that. And listen, what does he say here? He says... Here, therefore, in verse 31, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or where shall wherewithal shall we, we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all of these things, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and Amen. righteousness. And all these signs shall be added to you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow. Now listen to this real close, because I just seen a blessing out of it. Take therefore no thought for the tomorrow. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Amen. Notice, sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. In other words, there is enough evil for today going around that you don't have to worry about tomorrow. It's there. It's going to come. But also here, 
there's going to be the blessings of God. And so we, as God's people, uh, we need to understand that there's, there's going to be troubles and challenges to handle today, just today. We can't live tomorrow. We can't live to, uh, yesterday. But we can live today. And God will be with us in this day. Amen. He will help us and he will bless us. And he says, God will, uh, and, 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 and he, he's going to handle today, and God will take care of us. So this morning, this should be an encouragement to those that have a bank full of money, those that don't have a bank full of money, right. those that have plenty of clothes, those that don't have but one pair of britches to work. Listen, it's an encouragement, people, because the thing of it is, you could be walking around naked, mm -hmm. or you could be uh, told today that they robbed the bank or robbed your home and took everything you had. So my, you know, this this is an, should be an encouragement to us all that what why why worry about tomorrow and why worry about yesterday? You can't change yesterday and you can't foresee tomorrow, so you can't do nothing about that. Right. So today, live today while you're here and, and walk straight before God and say, hey, we'll face tomorrow when we get there. Because he says here, uh, take no thought therefore uh, for tomorrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. And so it's evil out there today, and it'll be evil there tomorrow. Amen. Just thank like, just like the Lord for these things. So this this uh, concludes our lesson this morning, and I, I hope that uh, it will encourage you. I, 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 I pray that it will, and it should, uh, each one of us. It should encourage us all, uh, because, listen, we're living... We're living, trying to serve our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and God. And all we can do is, is, is do that and, and say thank you, Lord, for what you've done for us today because uh, tomorrow, tomorrow may be brighter or it may be dimmer. Right. And so uh, just praise the Lord while you can and uh, uh, thank him for all your blessings. This is our lesson. We praise your Lord. Thank you for uh, listening, and uh, we ask that you continue to pray for us tonight. Amen.